Welcome to the final section of the Introduction to Conducting a Systematic Review Workshop. This section looks at the final stages of the systematic review process. At this point, you have identified the need for a systematic review on your topic. You created a specific focused research question. You finalized the scope of the review and wrote the review protocol. You conducted a comprehensive search of the literature and you've screened all of the studies found in your literature search. At this point, you have the list of studies that you have determined meet all of your inclusion criteria and you are starting to think about the process of synthesizing those included studies in your final manuscript. But before you actually get into writing the manuscript itself, you need to extract the important data from those studies and conduct formal quality appraisal. So first, when you think about data extraction from your studies, you'll need to identify what data you're going to want to report in the manuscript. And so this is something the team will need to determine based on your topic, what outcome measures, what study details are going to be important to include um, in your manuscript tables, but also to discuss in the manuscript itself. It can be helpful to refer to other reviews on similar topics or with similar literature to get a sense of what other authors have done and what are some options for um, you know, the data. It is also helpful to do sample data extraction with a few studies to make sure that um, as you're reading through the studies again with an eye to pulling out the data that you're not missing any important elements that you should add um, and developing a template that you can use to make sure that for each study you're pulling out the same data and you're recording it the same way so that it will be easy to present nice tables and to discuss this data in the manuscript. Another thing that systematic reviews ask for at this stage is to complete a formal quality appraisal of each included study so that you will be able to discuss how strong is the evidence recommendations that you're making in your results and then in your discussion section, and that you'll be able to address the individual risk of bias in each included study. Now, most often, you will still include all of the studies in your manuscript, whether they have a high risk of bias or not. However, in some cases, particularly if you're doing a meta-analysis, um, but also um, depending on the range of quality in the studies, you may spend less time discussing those lower quality studies, or you may, if you're doing a meta-analysis, only include those low quality studies in the narrative synthesis and not actually include them in your quantitative analysis so as not to throw off the results of your meta-analysis by very low quality studies. Um, when it comes to quality assessment, you'll want to use a valid validated quality assessment tool that is applicable to the study designs that you've included. Um, there are many tools available. Again, you can get examples from previous reviews in your subject areas, or the HSL has a list of common quality assessment tools available on our review guide. Overall, as you're managing data throughout the review, and especially at this stage, there are several tools that can be very helpful to you. Um, the first is Covidence. Um, it, you may have used Covidence for the screening stages of your review, but you can also use it for the quality assessment and data extraction stages. You can then export your citations either to Excel or to a citation manager, and then you can also export that quality assessment and data extraction, um, again, out of Covidence to use um, for your manuscript. 
if you've used Covidence throughout the screening process, it also has been tracking the decisions made for each individual study and providing the numbers that you'll need to complete the PRISMA diagram, that flow chart that shows the number of studies found in your searches and then the decisions made for those studies all the way down to the final number of included studies. Um, Cochrane also has software you can use to prepare your review manuscript. Um, this is free. You can download it and it will generate tables and figures um, from the data you export from Covidence for your quality assessment and data extraction. And then also provides a template you can use in organizing and writing your manuscript. So if you haven't completed a review before, this can be really helpful to have that organization and structure. Um, but you can also look to the journal if you have a journal in mind to submit and see if they provide a template for systematic reviews, again, that you can use to structure your manuscript as you write it and make sure that you're including um, all of the detail that is necessary. Um, finally, recommend that you use a citation manager. Um, this will help to organize your included citations and to make it easier to include the in-text citations and bibliography for your manuscript. If you haven't used a citation manager before, the HSL has a list of them with details on how to use each of them and a comparison chart um, that will show you which features and how they're different between the different options. There are also standards that you can refer to for systematic reviews. Um, so if you do have questions um, on how to complete your, the stages of your manuscript according to best practices, or in the case of PRISMA, um, questions about how to make sure that you are reporting the details of your review according to um, the expected standard, you can refer to these to guide you. And finally, reminder that the HSL has an online guide to systematic reviews that goes through each of the stages of systematic reviews in detail and provides resources that will help guide you in making decisions about your specific review and helping you through the process. So I encourage you to refer to the pages of the guide for more detail than was covered in this workshop. Um, but we hope you have found this workshop helpful and you can reach out to the Health Sciences Library with any questions about systematic reviews and your specific review project.